Say goodbye in fighting for justice for a man shot and killed by DeKalb County Police. The family of Matthew Zaduke Williams is pleading with police to release all the body camera footage from that day. His family says he was having a mental health episode tonight at a vigil that doubled as a protest. They told Hope for they just want to know the whole truth. Justice for Zado! Justice for Zado! Matthew Justice Williams' mom, five sisters, family, Justice. activists stood out for hours holding signs and passing out flyers asking the community to call DeKalb police and urge them to release body camera footage of the day Zadok, as he was known to friends, was killed. Let us see the truth. Let the community know the truth. Police released two body camera angles and say Williams lunged at them with a knife, but their family and attorney Muwali Davis believe something important is missing. The camera footage that they did not release is the one of the officer who fired the fatal shots. Why? The family believes Williams was having a mental health breakdown, and they wonder instead of shooting him, why police didn't call an expert. My wife is a social worker. She's been doing so for 15 years, and she's not once needed to use a gun to talk somebody down. We don't want to have to kill you. If you don't want to kill him, you don't have to. You didn't have to at all. Williams is the youngest of six and his mom's only son. His death confuses his family who want to know the whole truth. The pain cannot be described. It's physical, it's emotional, it's mental, it's spiritual. I feel it from the bottom of my feet all the way to the top of my head. I will never be the same. My mother, she didn't deserve this. She'll never be the same. We've asked DeKalb County Police for all the body camera footage related to the shooting. They released two videos so far where you can see officers kick in the door of his home and then order Williams to drop a knife. They asked him 47 times to do so.